Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we have brought to you mock test number 1 on agronomy. So in this series, we will try to come up with more and more subject wise test series and the mock test will be most helpful for all upcoming agri competitive exams. So without wasting our time, let's start the video. Question number 1. With reference to agriculture, which one is the oldest text from the following? The correct answer is option A, Rig Veda. So with reference to agriculture, Rig Veda is the oldest text from the following. Question number 2. World's first high yielding dwarf variety of high quality rice developed by Indian Agricultural Research Institute IARI, New Delhi through conversion breeding was? The correct answer is option A. Pusa Basmati 1. So Pusa Basmati 1 was the world's first high yielding dwarf variety of high quality rice developed by IARI New Delhi through convergent breeding. Question number 3. The most important wheat species cultivated in India is? The correct answer is option C. Triticum estivum. So Triticum estivum is the most important wheat species cultivated in India. Moving on to the next question, from which of the following places the world's first cotton deployed hybrid DH7 was released for commercial cultivation? The correct answer is option D, Surat, Gujarat. So from Surat, the world's first cotton deployed hybrid DH7 was released for commercial cultivation. The next question is, the normal date of onset of monsoon over Kerala is on dash. The correct answer is option C, 1st June. So the normal date of onset of monsoon over Kerala is on 1st June. The next question is, which one of the following is not a recommended practice for contingency cropping in dry land? The correct answer is option B, weeds are allowed to grow uncontrolled. So weeds are allowed to grow uncontrolled is not a recommended practice for contingency cropping in dry lands. The next question is growing of suitable crop in place of normally sown highly profitable crop of the region due to occurrence of aberrant weather conditions is known as the correct answer is option B contingency cropping so growing of suitable crop in place of normally sown high profitable crop of the region due to occurrence of aberrant weather condition is known as contingency cropping question number eight the ratio between water stored in the root zone of plants and water delivered to the field is called the correct answer is option c water application efficiency so the ratio between water stored in the root zone of plants and water delivered to the field is called water application efficiency the next question is priming is a post harvesting process carried out in the correct answer is option d tobacco so priming is a post harvesting process carried out in tobacco question number 10 the water requirement of rice crop is the correct answer is option b 1200 millimeter so the water requirement of rice crop is 1200 mm question number 11 sugar content in bricks of sweet sorghum juice varies from the correct answer is option A, 16 to 23 percentage. So sugar content in bricks of sweet sorghum juice varies from 16 to 23 percentage. Question number 12. The best practice to improve the water use efficiency is? The correct answer is option D, all of these, which is minimum tillage, planting geometry and mulching. So the best practice to improve the water use efficiency is minimum tillage, planting geometry and mulching. Question number 13. Sorghum plant tries to avoid transpiration during daytime by? The correct answer is option B. Rolling off its leaves. So sorghum plant tries to avoid transpiration during daytime by rolling off its leaves. The next question is. The sustainable agriculture movement started in 
the correct answer is option a 1981 so the sustainable agriculture movement started in 1981 question number 15 moisture stress can be mitigated by reducing dash the correct answer is option a transpiration so moisture stress can be mitigated by reducing transpiration question number 16 One of the following is a narcotic crop. The correct answer is option A, tobacco. So tobacco is a narcotic crop. Question number seventeen: Growing two or more crops in sequence on the same field in a year is termed as. The correct answer is option B, non-overlapping cropping. So growing two or more crops in sequence on the same field in a year is termed as non overlapping cropping. Question number 18. What percentage of fat does sorghum grain contain? The correct answer is option A, 3 percentage. So sorghum grain contains 3 percentage of fat. The next question is Castor is grown as mixed crop with the correct answer is option B groundnut so castor is grown as mixed crop with groundnut question number 20 PAR refers to dash the correct answer is option D photosynthetically active radiation so PAR refers to photosynthetically active radiation question number 21 The early shedding of buds in cotton can be prevented by spraying. The correct answer is option C, naphthalene acetic acid (NAA). So the early shedding of buds in cotton can be prevented by spraying NAA. Question number twenty-two: The average annual rainfall of dryland farming areas are. The correct answer is option C. less than 750 mm so the average annual rainfall of dryland farming areas are less than 750 mm question number 23 the component of wetland ifs are the correct answer is option a rice plus fish plus poultry question number 24 the cropping system helps to control runoff and erosion is The correct answer is option A strip cropping. So the cropping system helps to control runoff and erosion is strip cropping. Question number 25 Which of the following criteria used for harvesting of sugarcane? So the correct answer is option C sucrose content more than 10 percentage. So sucrose content more than 10 percentage is the criteria used for harvesting of sugarcane. Question number 26 Transplanting of healthy seedlings in rice is done da- at dash leaf stage So the correct answer is option B 4 to 5 So transplanting of healthy seedlings in rice is done at 4 to 5 leaf stage The next question is Zeamaze avata is The correct answer is option B popcorn So Zeamaze avata is popcorn question number 28 groundnut seed contains dash percentage oil so the correct answer is option c 45 percentage so groundnut seed contains 45 percentage oil moving on to the next question sprouted cereals are a rich source of and the correct answer is option c vitamin c sprouted cereals are a rich source of vitamin c question number 30 sugar content in sugar beets is the correct answer is option c 13 to 18 percentage so sugar content in sugar beets is 13 to 18 percentage question number 31 Rabi maize receives dash hours of sunshine than Kharif maize. The correct answer is option B, more. So Rabi maize receives more hours of sunshine than Kharif maize. Question number thirty-two. Solarization is a method where the soil temperature is raised by 
डैश डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड टू कंट्रोल वीड्स द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए फाइव टू टेन डिग्री सेल्सियस सो सोलराइजेशन इज अ मेथड वेर द सॉयल टेम्परेचर इज रेज बाय फाइव टू टेन डिग्री सेल्सियस टू कंट्रोल वीड्स द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉटर रिक्वायरमेंट इन एम एम फॉर ग्राउंड नट क्रॉप इज द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी सिक्स हंड्रेड टू सेवन हंड्रेड एम एम सो वॉटर रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर ग्राउंड नट क्रॉप इज सिक्स हंड्रेड टू सेवन हंड्रेड एम एम द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज परसेंटेज ऑफ अप्लाइड वॉटर लॉस्ट इन राइस फील्ड थ्रू डीप परकुलेशन इज द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी फिफ्टी टू सेवेंटी परसेंटेज सो द परसेंटेज ऑफ अप्लाइड वॉटर लॉस्ट इन राइस फील्ड थ्रू डीप परकुलेशन इज फिफ्टी टू सेवेंटी परसेंटेज क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सिक्स द टाइम बिटवीन स्टार्ट ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मैनेजमेंट एंड सर्टिफिकेशन फॉर पेरेनियल क्रॉप इज द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी थर्टी सिक्स मंथस सो द टाइम बिटवीन स्टार्ट ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मैनेजमेंट एंड सर्टिफिकेशन फॉर पेरेनियल क्रॉप इज थर्टी सिक्स मंथस द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एजोस्पेरलम इज कॉमनली फाउंड इन द रूट्स ऑफ द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी बोथ बी एंड सी विच इज सीरियल्स एंड ग्रासेस सो एजोस्पेरलम इज कॉमनली फाउंड इन द रूट्स ऑफ बोथ सीरियल्स एंड ग्रासेस द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन इंडिया स्टैंडर्ड्स फॉर ऑर्गेनिक एग्रीकल्चर वे अनाउंसड इन द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी टू थाउजेंड वन सो इन इंडिया स्टैंडर्ड्स फॉर ऑर्गेनिक एग्रीकल्चर वे अनाउंसड इन टू थाउजेंड वन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी एट द सीड रेट फॉर फॉर अ टाइमली सोन वीट क्रॉप इज द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी हंड्रेड के जी पर हेक्टेयर सो द सीड रेट फॉर अ टाइमली सोन वीट क्रॉप इज हंड्रेड के जी पर हेक्टेयर क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी नाइन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ पंचगाव्या द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी नीम लीव्स एक्सट्रैक्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एलिमेंट्स शुड बी कंसिडर्ड वाइल प्रैक्टिसिंग ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी मेंटेनिंग अ लिविंग सॉइल सो मेंटेनिंग अ लिविंग सॉइल शुड बी कंसिडर्ड वाइल प्रैक्टिसिंग ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर कॉटन रिसर्च सी आई सी आर इज सिचुएटेड एट द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए नागपुर सो सी आई सी आर इज सिचुएटेड एट नागपुर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी टू द बोरो राइस इज हार्वेस्टेड ड्यूरिंग द मंथ ऑफ द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी एप्रिल टू मे सो द बोरो राइस इज हार्वेस्टेड ड्यूरिंग द मंथ ऑफ एप्रिल टू मे The next question is which of the following is the other name of sweet corn the correct answer is option D zia mais sakara so the other name of sweet corn is zia mais sakara question number 44 what is the sanskrit word for rice the correct answer is option B vrihi The next question is rice is dash day plant requiring longer nights for maturity the correct answer is option B short so rice is short day plant requiring longer nights for maturity the next question is which of the following is not a part of the vegetative development of cotton development so the correct answer is option D fiber development so fiber development is not a part of the vegetative development of cotton the next question is natural farming dash all components of modern farming the correct answer is option a totally eliminates so natural farming totally eliminates all components of modern farming question number 48 in india average yield of wheat is the correct answer is option b 30 quintal per hectare so in india the average yield of wheat is 30 quintal per hectare 
The next question is the principal element not to be considered while practicing organic farming is the correct answer is option A attaining sustainable normal yield. So the principal element not to be considered while practicing organic farming is attaining sustainable normal yield. The last question is ideally the crop is harvested when 90% grains are matured delay may promote grain the correct answer is option c drop so ideally the crop is harvested when 90 percent grains are matured delay may promote grain drop that was all thank you friends for watching our video hope you find it useful please subscribe to our youtube channel for more such videos thank you